Hello, my YouTube family. This is your host, Aaron, here. This is Narc Spiritual Vlog Talk number 20. And I'm going to briefly talk about how, on why demons need a host and a sacrifice. See, there's a reason why certain people you encountered, no matter how bad they treated you, they just had a hard time of letting you go. You encountered a hater. No matter how many times you put them in a place, they just can't stop being in your face. They can't stop watching you. They can't stop talking about you, even if you beat them up. You know, you get into a fight with them, you beat them up, they still going to talk junk. Well, the truth be told, those people have serious demons on them. They are hosts for many different spirits. The spirit of jealousy, the spirit of anger, the spirit of envy, the spirit of hating. The spirit of coming against anyone who is different. And the truth be told, you can stand on your own two feet without needing an entourage around you. People with a lot of demons on them, they got to have people around them because they have to transfer those demons. They don't want to face those demons. They want to transfer them. That's why when they get around people... They drain the life force out of them. It's really the demons that's harvesting the people around them's energy. Because the host is already dead internally. When you have a lot of demons, that, that, that person is dead internally. And so, demons want to harvest and transfer. But when it comes to certain people, like chosen ones, they cannot be harvested or... Or should I say they cannot be, demons can't really transfer because there's a there's a hedge of protection, a firewall around chosen ones, right? As long as they live right and they don't get into some super low vibrational stuff, then there's a hedge of protection that the Most High gives to his people, right? So when these demons cannot sacrifice you, they will complain about everything you do. They'll complain about the way you dress. Oh, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Why do they always wear their hair like that? Why do they always dress like that? I can't stand it. You know, why do they why do they talk like that? Why do they know what they know? You know? See, let me give y'all a perspective. When you're dealing with the powers that were people in so-called power they're so far deep in their evil they said it is what it is i am who i am i'm going to continue to make people's lives miserable i'm going to continue to try to sacrifice people i'm going to continue to create propaganda and lies okay because these people these things are entities for evil spiritual forces so all I can say is be thankful that you wasn't sacrificed be thankful that you were strong enough to endure and overcome the wiles of the enemy because the wiles of the enemy these people wanted to sacrifice you these people want to to make you dead on the inside you're not dead you are healing you're recuperating right and you're divinely protected but anyone who's a host for many demons, they're constantly looking for a sacrifice. Now, how did these people end up with these demons? It could be generational. It could be due to their actions. I mean, people are really battling serious spiritual warfare. And the way they're handling it, they're handling it by taking it out or finding a sacrifice. And when you hang around people who's a host for many demons, they'll try to push you to the brink of killing yourself because the hot and cold treatment will be so much. If you don't let go of that situation, those people will make you believe that you should kill yourself or that you're nothing or that, you know, you're worthless and they're better than you. When all along, they're trying to prevent you from seeing your own greatness. So they need a host who's who don't see their own greatness, who don't see their own uh, spiritual gifts, their own gifts that they have. 
you know. That's why when you leave them, they quick to do uh, witchcraft. They keep they quick to smear your name. They're quick to say so many different things because they they are hosts for demons. They have no rest. They have a they're dead on the inside and they're also restless. They wake up in hell. They go to sleep in hell. And unless they do the work, because because what they call purgatory or hell is a state of mind. When you at a place where you can find peace amongst the chaos, you're in a very powerful, a powerful position. And spiritual warfare can't mess with you. All right. But I understand certain people who just can't let you go. They're hoping that you would take on their demons. And when you don't take on their demons, it's like they go to war against your name. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that they ever did. Because we are dealing with evil. Evil needs a sacrifice. If they couldn't sacrifice you, guess what? That host becomes the sacrifice. So anybody now who's coming against you, speaking on your name, they are literally a sacrifice for the evil forces. Okay? They're stuck. And there's no way out for them unless they identify... And check on the things that they've done. And they actually effort, effort, put some effort into making a change. But that's really it. You know, I hope y'all enjoyed the message. And uh, we'll chop it up again, y'all. All right. Bye-bye now.